In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, dear viewers of the Living the Word channel. It is with great joy that we welcome you to the third episode of Mary's Message, Encounters of Faith. Today, we immerse ourselves in the transformative account of Our Lady of Fatima, a narrative that bridges heaven and earth, impacting the lives of three shepherd children and touching the hearts of millions globally. 1917, amidst the chaos of the Great War, witnessed the beginning of celestial encounters in the small Portuguese village of Fatima. Central to these were Lucia dos Santos and her cousins, Francisco and Jacinta Mardo. Their experiences would notably influence the Catholic Church's spiritual journey. This extraordinary series of events took its first breath under the azure skies of early spring. As Europe was engulfed in conflict, something mystical was stirring in the tranquil countryside of Fatima. It was a time of innocence yet profound faith, where three young shepherds, unversed in the complexities of the world, found themselves at the heart of a divine mystery. May 13, 1917, the first encounter, the call to prayer and devotion. In the Covida area, a serene section of Fatima, the day began ordinarily on May 13, 1917. Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, while tending their sheep, encountered an extraordinary vision. A figure in white, of immense beauty, revealed herself as the Virgin Mary. She urged the children to pray and use the rosary as a tool against sin. In profound veneration, the children knelt before Mary, feeling enveloped by peace and love. This initial encounter left them in a state of awe and reverence. 1917, the second encounter, a message of love and promise. The children, inspired by their first experience, eagerly awaited Mary's next visit on June 13th. As they reconvened in Covid area, they were greeted again by Mary, who spoke of love and heaven's joys. The children renewed their commitment to prayer and devotion to Mary's Immaculate Heart. July 13th, 1917, the third encounter, the three secrets and a prophetic message. The third apparition of the Virgin Mary to the children at Fatima was marked by the unveiling of three profound secrets, each bearing significant spiritual and prophetic weight. In this pivotal encounter, Mary first showed the children a disturbing vision of hell, emphasizing the urgency of prayer and penance for the salvation of sinners. This vision served as a stark reminder of the consequences of a life without God. The second secret forewarned of the end of World War I and predicted the onset of another devastating war if humanity failed to repent and return to God. This message underscored the importance of prayer and conversion in averting further global catastrophes. The third secret, revealed by the Vatican in 2000, described a vision of a bishop dressed in white, often interpreted as the Pope, suffering amidst a destroyed city, symbolizing trials and tribulations facing the Church. In the same encounter, Mary also shared a deep personal revelation with the children. She foretold that Francisco and Jacinta would soon be taken to heaven, while Lucia was destined to remain on earth longer. This revelation highlighted not only the universal messages for the world, but also the specific paths that each of the children would follow in their lives. In the face of these revelations, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta accepted their mission with humility and determination. The messages imparted to them by Mary during this encounter would become a guiding force in their lives and form a crucial component of the Fatima narrative. August 13, 1917, the fourth encounter, Faith Amidst Adversity in Valinhios. On the scheduled day of the fourth apparition, August 13, the young visionaries of Fatima faced a significant trial. Detained by local authorities who were skeptical of their claims and aimed to prevent the gathering at Covida Iria, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta missed the expected encounter with the Virgin Mary. Despite the pressure and intimidation to recant their story, they remained unwavering in their faith. However, Virgin Mary's message would not be stifled. On August 19, while tending their sheep in Valinhios, near Fatima, the children were graced with her appearance. In this secluded setting, Mary reiterated her calls for prayer and sacrifice, particularly the importance of praying the rosary daily and making sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. This apparition at Valinhios, though delayed, highlighted the endurance of faith and the children's steadfast commitment amidst challenges. September 13, 1917, The Fifth Encounter, Anticipation and Promise 
In September's encounter at Fatima, the Virgin Mary reinforced her earlier messages, again emphasizing the importance of praying the rosary and undertaking penance for world peace in the end of the war. This visit was marked by a significant promise from Mary. She assured the children that in October, she would perform a miracle for all to witness and believe. This promise of a forthcoming miracle greatly heightened public interest and anticipation for the final apparition, drawing an ever-increasing number of observers to the site. This fifth apparition, therefore, not only reaffirmed the spiritual directives of the previous encounters, but also set the stage for a climactic event in the Fatima narrative. October 13, 1917, The Sixth Encounter, The Miracle of the Sun The final and most spectacular of the apparitions occurred on October 13, 1917. This day was marked by an event that would be forever remembered in the chronicles of Catholic history as the Miracle of the Sun. A gathering of approximately 70,000 people, ranging from devout believers to skeptical onlookers, had converged in the Covida area, drawn by the predictions of the three young visionaries. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation and a sense of the unknown. As the crowd looked on, the overcast sky cleared, unveiling the sun as a spinning disk in the sky. Eyewitnesses described how the sun seemed to dance or zigzag in the sky, changing colors dynamically and emitting a brilliant light. Some recounted that the sun appeared to move dramatically towards the earth, instilling a mix of awe and fear in the spectators. This celestial spectacle lasted around 10 minutes and was observed even by individuals several kilometers away. The miracle of the sun was seen by believers as a powerful affirmation of the children's visions and a divine sign underscoring the messages delivered by the Virgin Mary. These messages, focusing on prayer, repentance, and the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, would profoundly impact the spiritual and theological direction of the Catholic Church. This extraordinary occurrence, a blend of faith and unexplained natural phenomena, has continued to fascinate and spark discussion both within and outside the Catholic community. The children, amidst support and skepticism, remained unwavering in their faith. Francisco and Jacinta, weakened by illness, passed away soon after, having experienced further visions. Lucia, living a life of devotion, became a nun, honoring her commitment to Mary. The Catholic Church, following careful investigation, endorsed the apparitions in 1930. The Sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima, now a site of global pilgrimage, was established at the apparition site. Fatima's legacy is a testament to faith, prayer, and the mysteries of Catholicism. It underscores a message of peace and the impact of devotion. Jacinta and Francisco were canonized, and Lucia's beatification process began. In a world of continual challenges, Our Lady of Fatima's call to prayer, peace, and conversion remains relevant, shining as a beacon of hope in our times. Let us pray. O Holy Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Grace and Mercy, we lift our hearts to you in devotion and faith. Guide us in the path of righteousness, as you did for Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. Teach us to embrace humility, to pray earnestly, and to offer sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. May our lives reflect the message of peace and hope you brought to the world at Fatima. O oh, Blessed Mother, keep us under your protective mantle and lead us ever closer to your Son, Jesus. Amen.